My name is Nick Johnson. I'm a neuromuscular specialist and vice chair of research here at Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond, Virginia. And uh, my area of practice and focus is in uh, myotonic dystrophy and other forms of muscular dystrophy. Myotonic dystrophy type one in particular is, um, is a barely rare disorder with a prevalence of about one in 2100, much more common, in fact, the most common form of muscular dystrophy. And it's really a devastating disorder um, affecting nearly every organ system in the body. It's progressive. Um, it leads to a um, significant amount of disability in terms of people's inability to uh, walk or open jars or bottles, um, and a lot of daytime sleepiness and fatigue, so difficulty holding a job, and then um, often causes early mortality um, due to either problems with the cardiac conduction system or breathing problems. So really a, a very serious disease and without currently any treatments um, that would change the course of that disease. Clinics like ours here at Virginia Commonwealth University and others, MDA clinics, uh, provide multidisciplinary um, support for these um, individuals. So um, it's a lot of supportive care. So we have a physical and occupational therapist who help uh, with bracing or other assistive devices to help with walking. Um, we have a speech therapist who helps uh, when the swallowing problems develop. Uh, with the condition, and then, then, you know, most importantly, a cardiologist that helps track whether or not these heart rhythm disorders are developing and a pacemaker needs to be placed. And then um, outside of those things, we'll often give a stimulant or something similar to that to um, try and treat the daytime sleepiness as much as possible. So it's really, um, we have a comprehensive teen approach that tries to, you know, manage the symptoms or uh, complications as they develop uh, in the disorder. Thank you.